Jasper Johns was born in America. He knew from the time he was a little kid that he wanted to be an artist. He enjoyed taking ordinary things that we see every day and turning them into artistic wonders. These are patterns of lines. Can you see the pattern in this target? How about all of the patterns in this painting of American flags? What do you see? Sometimes he used recycled materials to make his artwork. He enjoyed taking letters and putting them into big paintings. Can you find any of the letters of your name in this painting? Jasper Johns also liked using numbers, and here are some numbers that we see every day. But with Jasper Johns' artistic mind, his numbers turned into these beautiful paintings. This is a lot of numbers. One thing he did that was fun is that he put numbers on top of each other. It makes a very complicated and interesting pattern. Can you recognize any numbers in this painting? Or maybe you see numbers in this painting. Jasper Johns is still alive and painting in his 90s. We're going to do a project today with numbers. Taped on all of the desks, you will see numbers. We need to leave them there. Don't pick at them. <laughs> we're going to take a piece of paper and we're going to lay it over top of the number. This is a two-handed project. One hand to hold the paper, one hand to hold the crayon. See how it's kind of sideways? So I'm going to press down with my one hand and rub the paper gently with my right hand. And if I keep rubbing, I'm going to get the edges of my number. See how I have to move the pressing hand a few times? If I press too hard, I'm just gonna wiggle my paper around. Well, that was fun. I could put another number on top of it, just like Jasper John's. I will press down with one hand and I will rub with my crayon with the other hand. Hmm, I'm starting to see the number six pop up and the edges of my number are going to show up more than anything else. So look for the edges while you're rubbing. I could try one more number, and if you're having trouble with your hand staying down, you can always pair up with another person at your table and take turns holding the paper for each other. I want you to move around the table, make sure that you're sharing and taking turns, and you can put as many different numbers on top as you want. I think that you'll find that yellow and pink crayons don't work so well, but the darker crayons look lovely. You can also put in some designs when you're done with your numbers. I'm using some lines and pattern, kind of like Jasper Johns did, to make my numbers look bright and attention-getting, even putting some little squiggles around them. Wow, who would have thought that three numbers could look so exciting? I'm going to put my name in the corner. If there's time, we can mat our beautiful creations. That is, put them on a colorful piece of paper I'm going to open up my glue 
it's only going to be up a little bit and I'm not going to glue the whole thing. No way. I'm just going to glue certain spots. Look at what I picked. I went to all the sides and the middle. I'm going to turn it over and line it up on my matte paper and I'm going to rub it and press it down. I should probably count to 10 and now I have a beautiful artwork.